beautiful friends. Welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Today I'm bringing you a recipe that was requested by one of my subscribers over on Instagram. And if you don't follow me on Instagram yet, make sure you do so. And this is Anita's Delights Recipes. And I did a poll to see what you guys wanted to see for Valentine's Day. And one of the subscribers requested molten lava chocolate cake. And I feel like this is one of those recipes that you order at the restaurant. You think there's like this magic trick behind it. And it's honestly very, very simple to make. It's decadent, it's chocolatey, it's absolutely fantastic. And I know you will love it. And like I said, very simple to make and it's great for Valentine's Day. As you can probably tell by my decorations in the back, there's a Valentine's Day recipe. I mean, honestly, I eat molten chocolate cake all year round, but it is something really special that you can make for you and your loved ones. Let me show you the ingredients that you're going to need. They're very simple. You probably already have some of them on hand. So let me run you through the ingredients and then we're gonna go ahead and get started. You're going to need some semi-sweet chocolate, flour, salt, butter, granulated sugar, whole eggs and egg yolks, and a pinch of instant coffee. As you saw, very, very simple ingredients. The first thing we wanna do is melt our chocolate. You can do this over a double boiler or you can do it in the microwave like I'm doing. And in the microwave, I feel like it's quicker and easier and that's just how I like to do it but obviously you can do it like i said in a double boiler and the way to do it in the microwave without scorching your chocolate is by microwaving in 15 second intervals i feel like that's the way i it works out for me so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna microwave for 15 seconds i'm going to whisk the whole thing together the chocolate is not going to be melted yet so you want to pop it back in the microwave for another 15 seconds and then whisk and then I think I do it in like three intervals. So the chocolate should be melted in about 45 seconds. But remember, it's really important that you do it in those intervals. Otherwise your chocolate is gonna scorch. And you're gonna have to start all over again and nobody wants to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then I'm gonna show you exactly how you want your chocolate to look pretty much just like melted luscious and delicious chocolate. And we're going to continue until our next step. My chocolate has completely melted. And as you're going to see, it's very melty and just like silky smooth and luscious. We're going to cream our egg and egg yolk with our sugar. So I'm going to do this with my hand mixer because otherwise it is going to be a workout. And you also want to start preheating your oven at 425 degrees Fahrenheit. First, I'm going to beat the eggs for a few seconds and then I'm going to add the sugar and let it just get very nice and foamy. Now that my eggs have started to look a bit foamy, I'm going to add in my granulated sugar. I'm going to mix again until it has pretty much volumed inside. Okay. I don't know if you can see, but my eggs and sugar are very thick and just creamy looking. And this is exactly the consistency that you're looking for. So to my melted chocolate here, I'm going to add a little bit of instant coffee. If you have seen my previous chocolate videos or anywhere I've worked with chocolate, you're going to see that I usually add a pinch of instant coffee because it brings out the chocolate flavor a lot more. I don't know why it just happens, okay? So I do recommend that you add it. If you don't have it, that's obviously okay, but that's my recommendation to you will make this even more decadent and chocolatey. What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to pour in my chocolate to the eggs very gently. Remember, we did let the chocolate rest for a little bit. We don't want to make scrambled chocolate eggs. That doesn't sound appealing to me and I don't think it sounds appealing to you either, so. I added my chocolate and now we're going to mix the whole thing together with a spatula. We want to mix it in, but at the same time, you want to be very gentle because you don't want to ruin all the beautiful volume that we created in the eggs, which is going to make this very light. You want something that looks like this. As you can see, everything's pretty well combined. Now I'm going to add my flour and salt to make sure you give it a quick mix 
before you add it to the chocolate. And as you can see, it's very, very little flour. And you just want the chocolate to hold, but since there's not a lot of sh the flour in this, that's what's going to make this very nice and molten. So you just want enough flour to hold these little cakes together. Very gently again, fold in your flour. Okay, this looks absolutely perfect. As you can see, that's exactly the consistency you're looking for. Okay, so I have my ramekins here. I'm gonna cut this. I should have done it before, but that's okay. You have some baking spray, and it's my favorite to bake with because it already has the flour in there. It is going to ensure that your cakes come out very nicely. So what I do is I, put, I spray. I like to take a piece of paper towel and just make sure it goes all around. I don't like to spray too much because I think I don't know, maybe it's just me. It gets a little greasy, so this is just what I like to do. You can also brush some butter in here if you don't have like that cooking spray or if you have any other type of baking spray, just spray it and then add a little bit of flour or cocoa powder to make sure that nothing will stick to your ramekins. And it's I have my cookie scoop here and it's just it just makes sure that the process is a lot easier and less messy. So I'm going to go ahead and scoop some to my ramekin here, just like so. I'm gonna make sure you have somewhat even amounts. Our ramekins are ready. I place them on a baking sheet just because it's going to be easier to put in the oven and take them out. But this is going to bake in our preheated oven at 425 degrees for about eight minutes to 10 minutes. Obviously, the less you bake them, the more molten they'll be. So keep that in mind. It honestly depends on your oven. So I would say, I would suggest you cook it from eight minutes to about 12 to 14 minutes. Mine bakes for about eight minutes. So keep an eye on it once it hits that mark because obviously you don't want it to get, you don't want to overcook it. Otherwise it's not gonna be a molten cake. It's just gonna be like a chocolate cake. Okay, my cake, it's out of the oven. It was in the oven for exactly eight minutes. I think that's like the perfect time for me. I'm gonna let it sit for about a minute or two and then we're going to transfer it onto our plate. I'm gonna show you how to do it. It should come out very easily because we did spray it with that spray. I'm going to serve mine with some vanilla ice cream and some strawberries. So what I'm gonna do to the strawberry is just cut a few little slits all the way from the top. So we can fan it like that. I don't know if you guys can see it. And then I'm also going to top it with a little bit of powdered sugar. This is one way you can do it. You can also add some whipped cream on top. Pretty much however you want to serve it, you can serve it, but that's just how I like to serve it. Let's transfer this, shall we? So what I'm gonna do, I'm holding. Remember, this is very, very hot. It just came out of the oven. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna place my plate on top. I'm going to flip it over very quickly. I'm going to give it a little tap and let's see. Ooh, yes. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let me get this out of the way so I don't accidentally burn myself because I tend to do that sometimes. I like to move it a little bit to the side just so I have space to put the rest of my stuff. So I'm going to add my vanilla ice cream. You can use any type of ice cream. I just like vanilla with this, right? And then I'm going to add some powdered sugar right on top. And then I'm going to add our little strawberry and you can add it however you like it or however you think it looks cute. Okay, so this is how it looks, as you can see, it looks very pretty and just very presentable. And I know whoever you make this for will absolutely love it. Now, the moment of truth. Let's see if it's as, oh yes, I can already see it. You see that? Oh, yes. Can you see that? Oh my God, this is perfection. This is exactly how it should be. I hope you guys saw that and are extremely hungry now. I just know that this looks 
So, so good and it's gonna be absolutely delicious. I'm going to obviously dig right in. Be careful, it's gonna be a little hot. There is something about it that is just so good. As you saw, it has hardly any flour. We did beat those eggs to a creamy perfection. So it's very light, like the cake outside is very light. And then the inside is just, this is pure goodness. I don't know what else to say. I do recommend that you use a good quality chocolate because that's honestly all you're going to taste. The recipe on my website, remember, you're gonna find everything on my website, anitasdelightsrecipes.com. And the recipe there is for two servings. Obviously, you can double the recipe, you can triple the recipe if you have more people to serve this to. I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. Make sure you give me a thumbs up if you did. Thank you so much for spending time with me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.